Hey YouTube, Matt from Crank Engineering here and it's day 15 of the Greg's Garage Welder Challenge and I actually feel like I'm over the hill with this lathe restoration because it's time to start putting colour on all of these parts and I can start reassembling. So these are all the parts that I'm going to use some body filler on and I haven't done any body work and using body filler before so these are the sort of projects that I like doing because I can learn something new and then when I need to apply it to a real project like a panel on a car then maybe I've done it before so um, I'm going to be sort of suck it and see how we go so I'm sure if there's any thing I've missed I'll hear about it in the comments so please give us some feedback if you pick up something that I might need to know uh, but otherwise all the other parts are in the other shed ready for primer and paint so let's just get some video footage of that and keep it nice and simple for tonight thanks Alright, so we've got a ton of parts here to be painted and there's a couple that are aluminium. This part of the motor mount and this cover are aluminium or aluminium as my friends in North America might say. So I've got to etch prime these before I paint them so they'll need a slightly different process. And the rest of these parts, I'm really just going to blast them with a primer and the colour. Now, I could get all fancy and try and mask up all these little surfaces that don't need to be painted but in some of these cases it's going to be easy just to paint them and then just remove the paint with a file or a scraper after the event so I mean I've got to be careful with that some of these parts will take way longer to take the paint off so I'll mask some of them and others I will just paint over so I'm just going to get through and get it get going with some wax and grease remover and give these parts a clean just to get all the dust off them and then we're going to hang a bunch of them up here and put the rest on the tables and hit them with fresh back. Alright, as is normally the case, I've grossly underestimated how much time it's going to take me to prep all these parts. But they're all hanging up ready for their first coat of primer. And it's probably taken me two hours to clean all these parts and get them ready. So some of them have been taped and I'll just show you these two. I think I picked these up from Eastwood in the US. Just a set of uh, silicon plugs and you can just use those for blocking up threaded holes so you've got less cleanup to do later on. Obviously I'm hanging this part by one of those holes so I'll have to clean one out but the other three in theory won't be as clogged with paint. So I've used those in quite a few places just to save me some time. So I can't remember how much that kit cost, I don't know, 30 bucks or something, plus a million dollars shipping to Australia. But uh, for you guys in the US, it's well worth it if you're painting a lot of parts. You, you can use them for powder coating too, if you're powder coating. So I'm gonna throw some primer on these and then that'll be it, I'll be back tomorrow night to see if we can get some color going. Thanks for watching.